Good afternoon guys, I'm going to show you something that is kind of interesting to me and I know a couple of you guys have been interested in doing it as well. We're going to install the Ubuntu Netbook interface on top of the traditional desktop edition so that you can give it a shot and just see how it works. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do, you're on traditional Ubuntu 10.10 .10, as you see here. Go to Applications, go to Ubuntu Software Center. Now you can do this three or four different ways. This is just going to be the easiest way to go about doing it. Now we'll go ahead and go to the search box in the upper right and go to Ubuntu-Netbook. And this is really, really simple, honestly. There we go. This is what we're going to install. Now before we install this, you may want to come into System, Administration, additional drivers and make sure that you've installed your 3D graphics drivers. I'm actually running inside of a virtual box at the moment so for the end part we're gonna have to switch over to my laptop but this should just give you an idea of what you'd have to do. You see it's searching for the available drivers at the moment. It's not gonna find any, at least not the correct ones. There we go, it does have the virtual box guest editions enabled here. If you were on a different system it would say NVIDIA or ATI or something else here and you just click activate wait for it to do its thing and then reboot and hope that it works. Uh, honestly, I've tried this on NVIDIA and it does work very nicely, so Oracle VirtualBox just doesn't want to work. If there is some way to make it work, feel free to let me know in the comment section below or make a video response. But for now, we'll just go ahead and do the install here and then we'll move over to the laptop so I can show you the rest of it. So here's Ubuntu Netbook System. It's Ubuntu Netbook is actually the package name. If you were to look at more info on it, you see it's got a lot of stuff, different add-ons you can put in with it, a lot of different things you can add in with it. So we'll just go ahead and hit install, give it our password, and then we wait while it does its little in-progress thing. Now you see this is going very quickly for me. I already have all the packages cached because I did this earlier in a test. There we go, it is installed now. So when it's done, close out of that, hit the little power button in the corner and go to log out, and then you log out. And in just a moment, you should be back at your login. When you click your username and you're about to give it your password, the little thing down here at the bottom says Ubuntu Desktop Edition. Select the drop down arrow to actually make it drop up and select Ubuntu Netbook Edition. Once you've got that, give it your password and hit log in. And there you go, we are inside of the Ubuntu Netbook Edition. We're actually running on my laptop at the moment, but you see it works a whole lot better than it did before. I'm actually using my mouse, my touchpad on the laptop, and this is so much more responsive. Part of it is probably due to the fact I'm running on a dedicated video card, and the rest is probably just the, the speed of the system itself. But now when I click on the Applications button in the upper corner here, so much faster, so much more responsive. If I start typing, for example, additional, it should bring up, there we go, additional drivers. And this will show you what I was going to show you on the desktop earlier on the virtual box. Searches for the available drivers. And there you go. You see we've got the NVIDIA Accelerated Graphics Drivers installed. That's what's allowing me to run this at the moment. You have to have some sort of 3D potential on your card, 3D acceleration running. So I've got those installed and activated. If you did, did not have them already running, you can click on them and just hit activate. You see I've got remove there. If you click another one, activate is an option. So once you've got that activated, you can install it the way we showed earlier, and you should be able to just go ahead and use it. I'm not a huge fan of the interface so far, but it is definitely a step away from the traditional uh, layout that you would expect from Ubuntu, especially in that you can't really do anything with the right mouse button anywhere. Uh, actually, you can to the, the system tree now, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, this is just a, a quick look at it. You know, like I said, it runs a lot faster, a lot smoother than it used to. Uh, you've got all of these applications that you can very quickly get to. So if you're short on screen real estate, this is a great way to do it. If you've got somebody who's completely new to Linux and you want to give them an interesting looking interface, this is another way to do it. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the Ubuntu Unity interface and let me know if you decide to try it on your laptop or your desktop. Otherwise, make sure to check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash thisweekinlinux, twitter.com slash thisweekinlinux. I do a live show twice a week at live.thisweekinlinux.com, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern and Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, other than that, come and hang out in the chat room if you'd like to, irc.freeno.net, pound twill, hashtag twill is the IRC channel. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.